Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com Towards Online Shortest Path Computation So, you are here going to see the abstract of Online Shortest Path Computation So, what is online? Online is in the sense, it means live Live traffic conditions, we are going to calculate the shortest path so while dealing with shortest path or computing the shortest path there are some serious problems arises in many ways so some of the problems are server overload unnecessary network overload while providing complete network feeds to the client of some particular areas increased server side and client side computation cost while computing online or live traffic so here comes a solution for the above mentioned drawbacks so a new framework called live traffic index which enables drivers to quickly and effectively collect the live traffic information on the broadcasting channel the LTA framework allows a client to collect only the necessary live traffic information through the broadcast channel so this allows the client to compute update their shortest path result by receiving only a small fraction of the index so this solution for the calculation of live traffic index and shortest path computation so it's providing a better result output in a real scenario or a stimulated scenario traffic provider here is going to receive the traffic live traffic updates from the real road conditions and all so these traffic updates is going to be computed by the traffic provider after the process it is going to be sent to the or channelized to service provider who is the real traffic updates or feed provider for the clients so the updates which are received from the traffic provider to the service provider is going to be indexed by the service provider so which is we already discussed that is live traffic indexing so the service provider is going to maintain a index and those index are going to be broadcasted by the service provider so these index are received by the clients so the clients which are in need for those traffic conditions or traffic updates are going to register with the service provider and the service provider is going to provide the client with their relevant traffic packets the clients which are in need for a relevant packet is going to register with the service provider so the service provider is the one going to stream the whole traffic updates or the feed over the broadcast so the broadcasted packets are received by the clients based on the index the index is the one which is required by the particular client based on their particular query so based on the query the clients will be computing the index and those corresponding indexes are utilized for computing the shortest path Firstly, in our project, we are going to start with the client. The, this client module is the one which is going to receive the traffic updates from the service pro traffic provider. Here, I am going to connect or register the client for receiving the traffic updates. So, I am connecting the client. 
secondly we are going to start the broadcast server so this broadcast server is the one which is going to collect the traffic feeds from the traffic provider so this broadcast server is going to process the complete traffic feeds and going to index those traffic feeds and then it is going to broadcast the complete indexed packets to the clients so here we are having some series of operations to be done for starting with the broadcast server so i am firstly editing the map properties of the complete uh, map setup here i have to choose a network map condition so here we are using oldenburg data set so the static simulation output file here we are going to give so if we need to edit these uh, default web properties then we can click on edit and uh, edit these properties so minimum condition maximum time so all of these properties we can edit so finally i am proceeding with it. these properties are updated to the file so further i am loading the map data because for calculating the traffic conditions or lta indexing every operation need uh, the map data so here we are loading the map data so the map data contains two things one is the maps edges and the another is maps nodes so both these uh, data sets are loaded to loaded and passed to database after loading the map data i am setting up the broadcast server for receiving traffic updates from the traffic provider so here the broadcast server is now started afterwards we are starting the traffic provider which is the real uh, traffic uh, updates receiver from the real load networks so this traffic provider is going to receive the traffic updates from the real traffic conditions with the road so for that we have to create the traffic conditions uh, how intense the traffic is and the road network and all such things should be decided with the traffic provider so the traffic provider here is a, a simulator which is going to simulate a real time traffic uh, condition so for that traffic condition we are going to provide the properties such uh, such that uh, we provided with the broadcast server before i'm proceeding so after creating the traffic properties we are going to visualize the road network here so this node road network is uh, the oldenburg road network real time road network the data set we assigned before so in this road network we are going to generate a real time traffic uh, condition uh, with the, some set of objects so the network uh, traffic generator is going to generate the traffic condition so for that i am going to compute the traffic condition so here the complete traffic conditions are here for uh, some uh, time t timeline so we can view in a step by step manner by clicking on this time plus 
So this is a, here we can visualize the traffic condition. So I am loading the roadmap data set. Pass. Now we have already simulated the traffic condition here. We can visualize it here. So this traffic condition is to be broadcasted by or uh, sent to the broadcast server by the traffic feed provider. So for that I am loading the traffic timeline which is generated before. So this is the traffic timeline which is generated by us. So I am passing it to database. Now I am going to start the traffic provider. So after starting the traffic provider, so it is streaming the traffic conditions to the broadcast server and the broadcast server is receiving and broadcasting with the index value to the client here. The client is receiving the broadcast here. So we can finally evaluate this. Uh, this curve is representing the live traffic condition so we can find some uh, acute uh, rise and downs in uh, series of timeline but uh, here it is uh, not that much uh, rise and ups and downs so that is historically uh, while monitoring traffic conditions there are no such uh, uh, variations with the traffic conditions but in the live traffic updates we can view some drastic changes in the traffic conditions here. So we can also find the shortest path. So here we are provided with the node IDs. So this node ID is we can select a source and a select a destination. So this is plotted here. Finally, we are evaluating the shortest path and uh, the traffic statistics here. So we can view the plot here. So thank you.